Hey guys, what's going on? Kyle here with the car guys. Uh, bringing you a brand new video. It's been brought to my attention uh, in this past nationals. A lot of people were receiving game losses on something that's very, um, I guess, very bad. <laughs> If you're getting a game loss, obviously it's very bad. But I'm here today to try to help you guys prevent this from happening. Maybe you could give your own self a deck check beforehand when you go to right right before you travel to a tournament to prevent yourself from getting these deck checks. Or not specifically the deck checks, but the but the game losses and the warnings that go along with these deck checks. And that's bent cards or uh, like warped cards. Like we're gonna go in for example now. You see these cards right here. Um, it, these, these are just these. Um, I, I did an experiment. I put a few cards under the AC to see if they would warp and everything. Hollow cards, and as you guys see, it's like a smiley face. You see, it's they're very they're very bent, like very very bent. And um, now I'm coming to you guys because I saw a video on YouTube and it got pretty good response. But I just want to make it known to you guys as well that this is you know how to prevent this so um, a lot of people get you know deck checks and obviously some people are targeted some people are not Konami says they're not targeted but I'm I'm you know inclined to believe that's not true um, but a lot of people do get game losses do get disqualified for marked cards and a uh, one big thing about marked cards is either a the the sleeves like when you have sleeves are bent on the corners that happens to everybody and they I don't know why they you know kind of let that go uh, but B is bent cards warped cards and as you guys see here these cards are straight bent and I'm gonna show you the procedure to get these to straighten up so you will not have this problem anymore. Um, recently as well, um, I actually, actually put my uh, Cosmo deck in, under the vent on accident for when I went to work, come back, and a lot of my cards are bent. So I'm actually, uh, I actually did this. I made sure this worked before I ended up doing this video as well. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and get into it here. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what you're going to need for um, for this little project to you know unbend and put all your cards back. Now the reason why these cards bend uh, is because the 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 mo not like the moisture but the temperature um, extracts the cards itself and then the actual foil doesn't which per, like makes it actually bend if it made everything contrast it would just go straight out but since the foil itself does not it f makes the card actually bend so what do we need we need a bowl we got a bowl right here Got one of my bowls from my from my house. Uh, you need a. I've, I'm not sponsored. I swear. Um, Glad press and seal is probably the best one you could probably use. Um, it's the uh, saran like not like saran wrap, but the press and seal. Um, press and seal, whatever this hell is called. It's like a you know microwave safe. Um, just I don't even know what the word's called, but you need some of that press and seal shit. And then you need some boiling water. All right, now let's go ahead and get into it right now. All right, guys, as you see here, we have a pot and we have water. The water is mild right now. Reason being, I did put a lot of warm water in there to begin with. We're going to go ahead and turn this bitch on right now. And uh, we're going to fast forward until it becomes, it's going to be like fast forward, like until it's boiling, then we're going to go to the next step, so... Now we're done here, we're gonna take it right over here to the to the bowl really quick. Let's get it. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna dump the water right in the bowl. So no matter really how much you just put is whatever you, you think is needed, and we're gonna move it right over to our station. Alright, now you see in here we got the boiling water and then we got the glad press and seal here, right? So we're gonna go ahead and get a good bit of this. And I'm sorry if it looks terrible. We're gonna go ahead and tear it right off here. So we got this, and we're going to stick it right on here. We're gonna make sure it presses down on all of it. 
and what's going to happen is the heat is going to expand. Now, I don't know the exact terms, but the heat is going to rise up and place pressure right on here with the heat. And what we're going to do here is we're going to put this Yu-Gi-Oh card that's bent, as you guys see here, um, we're going to put it face down onto the actual bowl here, okay? And we're going to do it for about, a, it's going to be for about a minute. Press down just a little bit so it kind of snatches on. Um, what's going to happen is the heat being applied onto the front of the card is going to help it flatten it out, which is really cool. You're gonna, it's going to be for about 30 seconds to a minute or so, and uh, just check it, I guess, periodically if you want to. And then right after that, I'll show you the exact uh, the exact results. And um, and yeah, this is this video hopefully can help you guys out. If you guys have any bent cards and you have to have them to use for a tournament, regional, local, whatever, and you you know somehow get deck checked and you get in trouble, hopefully this video does help you in some way, shape, or form. So, yeah. Yeah, I know it's pretty boring, but you know, whatever. So, now that you see, the card is completely flat. Right on there, it's completely flat. Let's try it with two more. Um, you can get a good couple different cards in with one uh, bowl while it still remains hot. Uh, I think the most I did was like six or seven. So six or seven cards can come in handy all at once with one um, one bowl and, and such. So yeah, this is, uh, this is the way I've been working with my cards since a lot of them got a little warped. And um, I couldn't be happier with the results. Hopefully it gives you guys good results as well. Um, you know, if you guys haven't already, give this video a thumbs up. And, and yeah, I mean, this, we should be almost done here with this one as well. Let me go ahead and just make sure it's sealed tight too. That's another thing that I've come to know. Uh, make sure it is sealed tight so the air actually just comes right to the card, which is a big thing. And so obviously this one, uh, this one did do it as well. So it's two. And then we got we have one more card here. Let's go ahead and make sure we got that on there. And we're gonna press down just for a moment, just to make sure the heat does get to the front of the card. That is the probably one of the biggest things, making sure the heat gets to the card. And it's gonna make the card hot. Don't get me wrong, it will make the card pretty hot, but it'll cool down really quick and will not cause you any other problems for the rest of the times you play the card. So and yeah, that's pr that's pretty much it. Um Hopefully, you know, you like the music on the video. That was kind of cool. And everything else. Um, if you guys have any other suggestions, the way to fix these types of problems with the cards, definitely either A, link them, or B, you know, tell us step by step in the comments below. I would love to make more videos about, you know, helping other people out in regards to this. So it'll help prevent you guys getting game losses or either getting match losses for things along those lines. And hopefully, you know, it's, um, you know, it, it helps you guys out. That's number one priority is me and us as, a, as the car guys helping you guys out. Uh, with your with your competitive play and this right here is probably one of the biggest steps is not getting game losses is this right here unless you actually are cheating so um so yeah last one right there it is straight as can be so we have a set of princess with eyes of blue right here that are completely straight that is awesome all right guys if you found that helpful definitely leave a like uh I, I found this pretty helpful with my entire Cosmo deck that got kind of destroyed by the AC. So if you guys haven't already, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't. Definitely do not leave your cards under any vents or in cold areas. They will become warped and they, it'll give you this problem. So hopefully if you actually end up doing that, if you didn't know a way and you're very scared, now you have the chance to re, you know recover your cards and make them playable again without getting in trouble with any Konami representative or judges in the near future. But that's pretty much it for me guys uh, with this little tutorial for helping fix your warped cards. Till next time guys, I'm Kyle with the Car Guys. See you later. Peace. Whoosh.